This video is called Fierce Debate, and we're going to be studying the major issues and arguments that happened at the Constitutional Convention. So you've already learned what the Constitutional Convention was and who was there, so now it's time you learn what happened during the months that it took to, wrote, to write the Constitution. So first of all, just kind of recapping from a previous topic about colonial differences, you already learned that the colonies were very different. And most of the, uh, the states, at the, as they were called then, sent delegates. Twelve um, states sent delegates to the convention, so you had lots of different viewpoints. Each state that sent a delegate had very different needs. Some, like Connecticut and Massachusetts, were focused more on trade, while others, like Virginia and North Carolina, were focused more on farming and agriculture. Another big issue was slavery. Some states had lots of slaves. Virginia had almost 300,000 slaves. Um, in their state, where other states, like Massachusetts, had absolutely no slavery at all, not one slave in the state. So that is going to become a, a sticking point at the convention as well. Some states had large populations. Virginia was the biggest. Others had small, like Delaware and Georgia. So obviously creating a government that everyone is going to be happy with is going to be a massive challenge. It's just going to be so hard to make every state satisfied with the government. So we're going to talk about the two main issues that happened at the convention. So first of all, um, population is going to be a big problem. So let's just take a look at the different states and how big and small they were. You see Virginia was the biggest um, with 750,000 people. Of those 750,000, um, 300,000 or so are slaves. So, you know, more than a third of the population is slaves. Um, and then you see Pennsylvania, New York, um, Massachusetts, North Carolina, Maryland, also fairly large in size, but there's a, quite a few small states too. So, um, you know, Georgia, Rhode Island, Delaware, New Hampshire, New Jersey, Connecticut, all of these states are, are relatively small or medium sized. Um, Virginia being twice as big as, say, South Carolina, or even more than that of Connecticut. So the size of the states as far as their population is going to be a big problem. And the big problem is going to be how many people would each state get to send to the new Congress. It's going to be a huge problem, actually. Um, Congress is in charge of making laws. So the big states, they think that because they have a larger population, they should get more votes. They have more people to represent, um, and they think that they should have more votes because that's the only way to represent the people fairly. It's the people that matter, not the state border. And this idea is called proportional representation, and we're going to get into this more in a second. The small states, they had a different plan. They thought that each state should get the same amount of votes or people in Congress. It's the state that matters, not the people, in their opinion, and that's called equal representation. And the two sides, they kind of look like these two guys down here. They really were arguing over this issue of representation in Congress quite a bit. So let's, let's go with, uh, dig a little deeper here with the two plans. So first of all, proportional representation, and this was called the Virginia Plan at the convention. Those, the delegates from Virginia put this plan forward, and the large states supported the Virginia Plan. And the Virginia Plan had the idea that the number of votes, or the number of people that get to vote in government, would be based on a state's population. So the larger the population, the more votes the state would get. Um, large states thought this was the best plan, and it was the only way to represent all people equally. If small states had equal to large states, well, the people in the small state, that would give them an unfair advantage because they had less people, according to the big states, at least. Large states argued that the same number of votes or reps didn't work for every state. It had to be based on the population, or otherwise it wouldn't be fair. And as you can imagine, the small states, they absolutely hated this plan. They thought it eliminated the states and there was really no purpose in having states unless the state had some kind of say. And that large states, if this plan were passed, they could basically push the small states around. The small states would never be able to get something that they needed um, passed through Congress. And as you learn, the states are also different, that this is a big concern. Here's a graphic that illustrates what the Virginia plan or proportional representation would look like. So say one, this would be a big state, and you see they have lots of people in the government because they have a larger population. And see how they're happy because they get a lot of say. A middle-sized state, well, they're pretty happy too because, you know, they're not the least amount represented. But the small states, illustrated by th the number three here, they would have not very much say in government. 
So if they needed something, but Virginia, say for this was Virginia and this was like Delaware, Virginia would always be able to outvote them no matter what. So that's what the small states were afraid of. So let's move on to equal representation that was called the New Jersey plan. The New Jersey delegates put this plan forward because they were a smaller state. And the New Jersey plan is the idea that each state would receive the same number of votes. The population would not matter at all. Small states favored this plan because it kept the states powerful and it kept all states having a say. And this was also the same way Congress was set up during the Articles of Confederation. So it wasn't anything new, it was actually the same system as before. Larger states hated this idea and refused to vote for it. They believed it was unfair to the large states in their opinion. The two sides dug in on this issue. Proportional, equal, New Jersey plan versus Virginia plan. This is going to be the key debate topic during the convention. They didn't solve it. It actually lasted for months. And this issue of representation in Congress threatened to destroy the convention. People almost left and went home and just stuck with the Articles of Confederation because they couldn't solve this issue. Now your task in class is going to be to solve this issue in our simulation that we're going to have in class tomorrow. All right, moving on here. Believe it or not, representation was not the only issue. Um, it was the biggest one, but a secondary and also very important issue at the Constitutional Convention was the issue of slavery. Let's get one thing off the table right away. No one at the Constitutional Convention thought slavery would end completely. There was never any proposal to completely end slavery in the United States. Slavery was already sort of ending on its own in the United States, and other countries around the world were eliminating it. So even though pe not everyone agreed with slavery, people basically thought it was just gonna go away on its own, but there were some issues that people had with slavery that they wanted to see addressed at the Constitutional Convention. The first issue, was the slave trade. The South wanted the slave trade, and by slave trade I mean bringing, um, you know, kidnapping African people from Africa and then take, putting them on a slave ship and moving them from Africa to the United States. The South wanted to keep this continuing because it was part of their economy and they got more slaves and it, it helped them make money. The North thought this was a completely brutal practice. This is the one thing that really was bothering people, not slavery itself, but the slave trade. And the North wanted to, wanted to see this stop. The second major issue with slavery had to do with state populations. Um, if the Virginia plan were passed, the population of a state would become important. So Southern states wanted the slaves to count as people when, um, when determining population, even though they weren't really voting citizens. And if we look back at our chart here, you can see that if Virginia didn't count their slaves, they would lose 300,000 people and they would actually be smaller than Pennsylvania. And Massachusetts would stand to gain a lot because they wouldn't lose any members from their population. So this was a big issue. The, so the southern states thought the slaves should count and the northern states like Massachusetts didn't think it was fair to count these people in the slavery column because they didn't get to vote or they didn't have any say anyway. So the higher the population, the more votes in Congress, and the North thought this was unfair. After all, the South didn't treat slaves like people, so why should they count them in population? Okay, to summarize, a lot of information here. So just, um, we're gonna go through a lot of this in class, but just to kind of summarize this video up. So over the months during the convention, there were many heated arguments. This video touched on two. The first one was about how Congress was going to be set up. Large states wanted to have more say in Congress by using population to determine the number of votes. This was called proportional representation, or the Virginia plan, that's what it was called. And they believed that this would represent people fairly. Small states did not like this, they wanted each state to be represented equally, which was the New Jersey plan. The second other issue that we talked about in this video was slavery. The North wanted to abolish the slave trade. The South wanted it to continue. And an additional problem with slavery was that the South wanted to count their slaves in their state populations, and the North thought they shouldn't count. So these are two of the issues that, that took up a lot of the time at the Constitutional Convention, and you guys are going to be debating these issues in our class simulation tomorrow.